I love fried onions. I love onion rings. I love blooming onions. I love fried onion petals. And so does my son. So this is me attempting to make our own onion petals at home. And I feel like it was a success for the first time. So making some sweet onions here and I'm going to go ahead and just take them apart. You want them into decent sized pieces because what you're going to do is you're going to soak them in a batter and then you're going to coat them with flour and then fry them. So you want to make sure that you have a decent enough size, a base to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up three onions here and then break the onion petals apart. So I'm going to go ahead and just pretty much get this all prepped up and ready for the next step. It is a bit of a tedious process, but it's well worth it, so. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on my batter here. So I'm using one egg, and then I'm going to use some buttermilk. Probably going to use anywhere between a, we'll say half a cup and three-fourths of a cup. I'm going to go ahead and give that a mix, and then pour it over the onions. Then I'm going to go ahead and season my onions. I'm going to use some of my Red Robin seasoning here and then some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a good toss, get it all mixed, and that seasoning all coated over the onions. Once I have it all coated and seasoned well, I'm going to go ahead and cover it and then place it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to go ahead and dredge them and fry them. Refrigerate. So now I'm ready to fry these guys up. So I have a bag of seasoned flour here that I use salt, pepper, garlic, onion, some of the Red Robin seasoning, and I also use a couple of packets of Sasson. I'm going to go ahead and dredge my onions here. going to do them in batches just to make sure that they're evenly coated and that flour is nice and distributed amongst the onions. Then once I have them coated, I'm going to go ahead and just place them in a separate bowl while I go ahead and get them uh, ready to fry. So I have my fryer also preheating at 350 and they only take about a couple of minutes, but you'll see that in a few minutes here. So now I'm ready to start frying them. So I'm going to do a handful at a time just to make sure that they evenly fry and they do take just a couple of minutes to cook up. So you just wanna keep an eye on them to make sure that they don't get too brown. This is me just checking them out to make sure that they're still doing okay. I'm gonna let them go a little longer. See, it takes about three minutes, maybe three to four minutes. So then you're just going to drain them on a paper towel. And while they're coming out hot, you want to sprinkle them with a little bit of salt. You can use kosher salt, table salt, or um, sea salt, but you're just going to sprinkle them while they're hot. This is what they look like when they're all done. They are so delicious. We serve them with a garlic ranch. Thanks for watching.